Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh my god. <laughs> that was rough. I was saying that was uh, loud. But it's also been a long time since I uploaded a, a video. And that had... Multiple reasons, which I won't go into all that much. But today we're going to continue with Colad, and I have still so much games that I ha need to finish or continue play. Uh, and this is one of them. Um, to be honest, I have no idea where I was the last time. I had to check my uploaded video. Uh, and still don't really have a clue. Uh, let me quickly check the options again, what everything is. Uh, zoom, compass, journal, map, crouch, use flashlight, run. I think run is one of those things that I really have to um, remember. But let's continue. Unlock the camps to use the... Oh, yeah, I... Um, I found some stuff, I went into this creepy cabin where I found someone, something, and something found me, and I came across this weird creature thing, like... Like things, and, um, what else? I went to this sacrificial altar kind of thing on top of the mountain. Is my game just not working now, or... I think it's loading in still. Um, hello? God damn it. <laughs> okay, uh, no. Let's quickly... No, it's really not reacting or responding. Okay, main menu, yes. I don't know what happened, but I couldn't walk, and my map, map wouldn't come on screen, so... Let's try that again. Watch the surrounding closely to use the map and compass most efficiently. See, I still don't really know what my objective is in this game, and the game doesn't really tell me what to do. They basically say, just walk. Ah, I can walk. Um, I think... Yeah, I came from there. And then I've... Now I have to find my way... Where I want to go now. Can't go there. I can't go there! Oh, god damn. Um... Why can't I go there? Ah, there we are, there's the map. Um, I am... I am... Where am I? <laughs> oh, I'm here. I'm here. There was the altar. And here was that watchtower guard thingy. So I have to go up. And then go down there. But there's that thing where I couldn't come a get across, right? think so. Those sounds, man, they are really something. Like, I went up here. I didn't even know I had a flashlight, to be honest. Did I know? Did I use it? I don't think so, but... Um... Yeah, that bridge was damaged, so I couldn't go across. But other than that... Um, there wasn't really a way where I could go. Honestly, me and a map just doesn't work. Who uses maps anymore? I have Google Maps. And I have it on my phone. 
Now I know that this is what? 60s? I don't even know in what year this is, but... Oh! Um, so I can't run non-stop. I wish I could go up here. I wish I could jump. But apparently I can't. Right? No. I can only crouch. Who? Who can't jump these days? So easy. Just a flip. Let's just go back then. Sadly enough. Wait. Did it come from there or here? Let's go here then. To see what's. Did that came from here? Scenery is beautiful though. I don't really like where this is going, but I think I have to go here. Did I came from here? I don't know. It's oh so quiet. No. I don't know where I am. I went down here. And now I went... I think I went... Uh, I have no idea. Just remind me not to check on... Wait, that was a... That's the sound of a letter, right? Uh, yes, here. 7 a.m. We're finally here. We met a group of Mansi people. They have weird tools. I think they're for hunting. We've also encountered local hospitality when we were not allowed to enter the railway station because we were singing too loud. But we received a very warm welcome from the local school. We had a bit of time, so we met with the students and told them about our expedition. When we reached another station, some drunk accused us of stealing his wallet. Police got involved, but luckily, after some explanations, the whole thing got sorted out. We spent the whole night in the train speaking about love, religion, politics. Oh. When we felt tired, we went to bed, but since the politics. compartments were not closed, we decided to keep watch and switched every couple of hours. There are moments when I doubt whether we are ready for such an expedition. Disturbing thoughts no. are haunting me. Maybe we misjudged our capabilities. Yes. Others say we'll make it, but I'm afraid. Yeah. I have a bad feeling about this. As you should. As if a shadow of fear was breathing down my neck. I cannot explain this. It's time to take a nap. Good night. Okay, now... Yeah. Yeah, see? I can read maps. I shouldn't doubt myself. Where does this lead? It goes off, tra off trail. Do I want to go off trail? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good with dealing with these kinds of things. Like, I, I spoke with someone today, honestly, um, about the fact that I don't like to go into woods like at all it's so dark and windy but yeah like I'm not good with dealing with 72 north for 64 east I'm not good with
play with the sounds and music on for better effects. Use your headphones. Whew. I'm not dealing good with walking in the dark like this. Where am I? I set out the moment I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We are sitting in room number. Did I? We are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I set up. Wait. Don't I have that letter now? I thought I took. I thought it saved. Me picking up that letter. I don't know where I am anymore. What the fuck? This is where I was. This is where I died. This isn't going good. It's not here now. It's coming now! going on oh I'm too chicken maybe I have to go there is that sound coming back again I scared the sound away Okay, this is me in pure terror right now. Sorry. But it's things like the Blair Witch. That made me <laughs> really scared for this. Stop a tree! Stop a tree! Hello? No, that's coming this way. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Fuck! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! My stamina! Ah! Wait, I've been here before. I think I've been here before. <laughs> yeah, I've been here before. I don't know where I am exactly.
stop doing that. I need to go back to the main place. My the starting area. I think it was this way. Yes. Yes. Those four pillars or well more pillars than that, but then my campus around that way. Right? Right? Yes? Does this mean that I found someone? What the hell? What the hell is that? I don't know. There's my camp. There's my camp. Let's go back to the tent and then um, see what to do from there. And then I have my bearings again as well. Saving. Okay. So I've been there. It says that I have it. I'm now here. I have the feeling that that's constant, like... Let's now go here, and then here, and then look around this place here. And then go here. Hey! Oh, that's the watchtower, okay. I'll fix that, and fix that, okay. Oh, that's good. Everything that I find... It notifies that I've been there. So that's good. 62. Don't tell me I have to go in there again. 62. And 47. 60. 62. It does. I have to go here. Damn it. Oh, I haven't been there yet. Okay. 5461. I have that one. Yeah. And 3762. Oh, that's the center there. And that's the watchtower. Okay. Oh, okay. Send 7. 52. There. Okay. So now I'm going here and then down there and down there. Okay. I can do that. So here, this way. But yeah, like, I still can't finish what I started telling. Like, movies like The Blair Witch. Or, um. What else is there? Hills of Ice. Um. But also just YouTube videos, you know? Like, uh. Finding out about the Dyatlov Pass incident. And I believe there's also like this American version about it where four or five friends disappeared in the woods Under similar circumstances It's like The world is a dangerous place if you really think about it right so Anything is possible. That's why, like, what the point? What's the point of that bridge over there? But that's what I'm saying. Like, if you really think about stuff,
if you really think about the world and how dangerous it is and how fucked up it really is it's really scary that is a skull there are a lot of skulls I think I have to go over here. Yeah. Oh, the damn it. We slept in something we oh. could call a hotel. Oh. Two persons per bed. Ooh. We woke up at 9 a.m. It was actually quite comfortable, although it was a little cold because we forgot to close the window vent. Oh. We ate breakfast. Good. Packed our things, Good. And at 11 a.m. we were ready to go. We set off in the back of a truck, so it was a bit cold. During the ride, we talked about absolutely everything we could think of. On the spot, we spoke with some local workers. I remembered one in particular. He had a red beard. Friends called him Beardman. Oh, come on. We cooked and ate dinner, and now we are resting. Half of the group is looking at some maps. The rest are sleeping. I started handling the equipment and writing. It is still a bit too cold. My hands are shaking, but finally, my thoughts are much brighter than yesterday. No creepiness in them whatsoever. There's a long way ahead of us, but the only thing I can feel is excitement. It seems as if the forest is calling us. That beautiful, magical, dark forest. Okay. Okay. I hear you. Still don't really like the thought of everything that is going on but eh, it will be okay right right but yeah like I said it's like this weird thing that automatically goes into my brain when I think about certain stuff like me walking in those woods alone that would drive me crazy like really crazy because my mind is going to play tricks on me looks cool though and I hear another letter What? How do we get there? Can I get up? Oh! Shit. Do I have to go all the way around it? Well, at least I can't go down here. It's not killing me or anything. But you guys know what I'm what I mean, right? Because those movies and those short horror clips or whatever stories that you read It fucks you up a little bit This isn't the way This is the way No, this isn't the way But Really? Wait. But those those things really fuck me up a lot.
What am I doing? I had a clear objective and I'm straying off of the path that I'm following. Let me just follow what I wanted to do. I still don't know what that is though. Okay, I went that way, but now I'm going here. Okay, those sounds... Uh-uh. There aren't really wolves in this game, right? I don't have to worry about those. I only have to worry about those shadow people. The hell? Can't go, go down there, right? I hope not. I think I have to, but I hope not. And I can already see the comments like, Oh, you didn't do that! Oh, you didn't do that! Or oh, did you see that? Or... I'm not good with these types of games. Usually I play like... Oh, glitchy. But usually I play games that has a clear objective. What the fuck? Oh fuck! I have my phone on vibrate. <clears throat> I don't even know how long this video is going to be. I think I'm at those fro that frozen lake part now. I would love a tent. I think it's a... Did I hear music? You know, at the beginning, I wanted to make things right. I believed God itself touched me. That I have received a chance, a compensation for the evil that was brought upon me. And I understood that it is not God, or good, or restitution. Just a tool of revenge. Thank you, Sean Bean. Now what? I feel like I'm getting closer to something. What happened? That just gave me the biggest chill that I've felt in a while. And it's like 21 degrees in my room. But just that sudden like loop. You're not doing very well, are you? Or you, or all of you. I don't think this is the smartest idea to go here, but eh. it's only a game. What was that trailer when they coming to me? I don't know, am I? I really want to go to you, Sean Bean. I mean, heck, you're Sean Bean. Um, you're cooking. What's cooking? Okay, balance. Don't startle me, Sean Bean. 
I really love Sean Bean. Who doesn't love Sean Bean? I'm going to that big place where the light was shining, I think. I, I completely went off track again. See those things, I can't stand those kind of things. Does this, does this mean if I jump down here that I can't get back up again, that I have to finish what I started? Okay. Ow! Mine an ankle chin. Sorry. My ankles. Did I completely miss that that thing? What happened? Those rocks are flying in midair. Ah, oh, fuck no. Hello? Um, hello? What's that? Sorry to barge in here. Man, these aesthetics are just... <laughs> oh, it's just... The moonlight. I wanna go out! Hi. Hello. I thought I heard a letter. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell is that? I can't go there, right? No. I think I have to. Get, I, I'll come there eventually, but. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm really, really, really excited. Not. Ten north, fifty seven east. Okay. Nope. Didn't it? No, 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 it didn't save it. Do I really have to? No, no, it really didn't save it. Okay. Sean Bean, can you start talking again? Because I'm getting a bit uncomfortable. I don't think I want to go up here, but... I think I hear a note. I also hear music. The music is gone now again. Yeah, there's a letter here, somewhere. Got it. Oh, it's saving at least. A guard's confessions. 
70 year old Anna N, after years of silence, decided to talk about events from her past. She told us, I am terminally ill and have nothing to lose. I want people to know what harm had been done and all of this in the name science. Anna N described the place a science research center where scientists allegedly conducted inhumane experience, exper experience? experiments on prisoners. There was a special chamber. They had never allowed us to go to even get close. It was guarded by soldiers. Although, I did see people that were taken there. Not many came back. I kept in touch with one of them and asked what they had been doing there and why so few came come back out of their life. He looked at me terrified. He said, Anna, have you ever seen nothingness? A deep emptiness with no end? I was there. I stood above the collapsed valley of the universe, on the border between reality and unreality. There's an abyss there, a gigantic well with no bottom, a dark cave of hell, and I felt it. It was drilling in my head like ticking clock. It looked at me from below. It was sneaking up on me and slowly started entering me, the darkness. Some time later, the same prisoner gave me a letter to pass on, in which he had backed for help. I was supposed to give it to the press and expose the whole thing, but the letter disappeared. Up until now, I don't know what happened to it. Anyway, they would probably cover up the whole thing. We asked the supervisors of the prison unit, to which Anna N was sub subject to for a comment. Vladimir Kronsky? The unit's commander strongly denied such events took place. He also informed us in a short message that Anna N was a guard but never worked in the mentioned above center because an object like that simply does not exist. He sent Anna N employee record as proof that in years 1940 till 1950 she worked in Sukhanovka, Sukhanovka prison. I have no idea if I said that correctly also known as Special Object Number 110. She had been let go from this facility due to mental illness. A copy of her health record and medical certificate were attached. Okay, so there were... going... Can I get that? Okay, now I have to go get up, right? Let's go. I don't want to go up, but this is deep snow. I'm I'm already tired. I know that my condition isn't really the best right now, but I can run longer than that. Am I going to hear the drums again? Am I going to the place with the nothingness and the creeping feeling that something is creeping up on me? I hear another note. It's around here somewhere. Where are you? Nowhere. with the locals that they will give us a ride to the location of the second camp. We helped them unload the carts and waited for the horses. At approximately 4 p.m. we set off to continue our journey. We managed to replenish food supplies so we could eat something on our way there. The horses are moving slowly. It's making me sleepy. It's getting dark. The second camp was an abandoned village. We found a house to stay at overnight. 
In total darkness, oh. we started setting up a fireplace. Everyone cut themselves on nails sticking out of the boards. Apart from that, everything was okay. Then, it all started. What? Okay, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, what a cliffhanger. Then it all started. Um, I really love the fact that you have to figure it out on your own. Um, it's also really a testament on my uh, ability to uh, use a map. What I can't. But um, I'm really curious how this game is going to play out. And if this game provides a theory about what um, about what happened, because I've heard all the theories that was online, like uh, an avalanche happened, or uh, a UFO, or uh, a military testing, or nuclear testing. Uh, those all those theories, and I'm kind of curious what kind of theory this game will provide about the DL Love Pass incident. And if you're curious as well and you want to see the rest of this game, um, I'll advise you strongly to subscribe, like, comment, and just watch. Just watch. What do you have to lose? Just, just if you subscribe, then you get notifications and if you don't just hit the notification bell it's free you can do it and I will see you all in the next video bye bye